fishing at sea for an entire night is certainly something different and provided you pick a good weather slot you could put yourself in with a chance of some totally different species. Our expedition was off the south coast but we took the opinion to fish inshore and anchor in a relative safety way out of that main shipping channel. We certainly picked the right weather with a view westwards of a magnificent sunset on a flat glassy sea. Now that's something you don't see too often. And lots of species come out to feed at night. Some even start really early. Okay, well we've been here about Probably about an hour and a half. Um, light's just beginning to go. Uh, we're, we're at a place called the Hounds, Bracklesham Bay area. Um, had a couple of takes, but they didn't materialise. We had a few little nicks and knocks, nothing special. And um, finally managed to hook into something. It's almost certainly a smooth hound. Doesn't feel huge, but it's um, it's, it's not a doggy anyway, which is uh, what you normally get when the light goes. But I yeah, just see him now, and I. I think he's tied himself up a little bit. He's wrapped, is he? Yeah, he's wrapped. He's not, he's a tiny fish actually, he's not. But he's the right species, but the wrong size. Yes, the good thing about this spot, there's a lot of weed that's come through and he's just got a bit on him, but the good thing about this spot is there are some big hounds about. And, uh, and when I say big hounds, there's, there's, there's every chance of a 20 pounder here. This, this certainly isn't one. <laughs> All right, let's sort him out. A little starry. And that's the evidence of the weed that's been coming through. Okay, well I'm just hedging my bets here, chucking out a couple of little uh, squid strips. So, I'll just chuck one upside, smaller rod. I hope a hound doesn't grab it. Okay, well, let's say well, this area here is, uh, is, is broken ground. You can get snagged occasionally, but in general, the uh, broken ground brings in the smaller fish and uh, hopefully, because we've got a bit of a tide run later, so 4.7 tide, we may be in with a chance of a bass or two. You and, think, we, um, they think we're going to get hounds, so you think we're going to get another hound? We had that first one, you think we've got a chance of another one? That's the main species here, I would, I would say, I mean other than dogfish which you tend to get at night, but um, should be hounds, really should be. Uh, and the weed floating past the boat. Well, it's, uh, it's the solent. But once it got dark, strange things started to happen. It's a reasonable fish here. It's not, um, doesn't feel massive, and he, he kind of wakes up every now and again, gives a, gives a good run, but um, probably difficult to see in this light, but. Yeah, don't get much out the torch. No, he's. Um, we got round the 10, and he got behind him. Well, mm, he, might not, he, might, he might be just under, Graham. Yeah, he's got, his belly's a bit thin, though. Yeah, he is, he's a little bit, uh, it looks the size of his head. I would say. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I think we'll settle for that. <laughs> what with that sunset and the first, the first decent fish after that smooth down. Yeah. Is a clonking great bass. Well, funny enough, um, I know, I know it was. We did say it, it was on a live bait um, that you get more of a chance of getting a fish like that. But yeah. we're certainly in a spot on this sort of tide, which, um, which I did say. I saw it's. You know, saying it now, but I did say earlier that we were in for a chance of a good fish, and uh, that is a, a good, good fish, a good bass in particular. And there he is, a little bit higher, holding there. Here yeah, we're getting a few pout in, not a great deal after that uh, clonking great big bass. So we're all into bass mode at the moment, but it's a bit peculiar fishing at night. You, know, you can't see your lines tangle. And I'll tell you what is a nightmare, is braid. Braid at night is a nightmare. But we've got another fish on here. I thought it was a dogfish. Now it's another big pout. But I'll just show you, this is the size of the pout you can pick up here. Quite nice size ones. As you 
you get that lead in there out of the way. I'll bring him up to the camera. Now, not as big as this, but you know, you can catch big bass on pouting maybe half this size, quarter this size, and that's what they're feeding on. But look at the size of the hook this one's taken. Not a great big hook for bass. Shouldn't be taken, but he has. And we're putting back, but they don't survive very well, the old pouting. They're not they're not the world's most powerful fishies. <laughs> I'll probably put this one back and it'll get eaten by a 12 pound bass. But it's weird, you know, it's so it's so quiet out here. It's, it's, it's just, uh, you can't see the horizon when you're out here at night. We, we've got the deck light here. Wayne's got a nice big uh, LED deck light there. But you just can't see your rod top. So we've already learned that if you did some more night fishing, we need to paint the tips white or put some tape around them so you can see the tip, uh, you know, of the rod bite. And you can't see the braid. I don't know way around that. But... Uh, we're going to keep plodding around. It's 11.30 at night now. And the last two hours have gone really quick, you know. We've got that big bass. So we're keeping our fingers crossed there'll be something else coming. Oh, yes, please. And Who's got a gaff? It's a big conga. Is it a nice conga? This is a really nice conga. It's 30 pounds. Yeah, on the mackerel head. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, yes. He's, he's, a, he's got a huge head on him. Um... There we go, nice big conga. Let me just get the torch around the other side. Well, what I'll do for a bit of scale, I'm not going to muck about too much, but I'll put my hand next to him, next to his head. Don't put it in. No, I'm not. I'm not going to. But if you, uh, oh yeah, if you see my hand next to him, yeah, you'll give you an idea of the thickness of the broadness of him. Across the back, yeah. Well, I've got a hook on him. I'm trying to get him up just to show you for the camera. If I can get him up. No, he's, he's definitely 30 pounds. It is a... Oh, lift him. No, he's a lump. He's going to spin him around. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's not dead by a long range. <laughs> you bugger. <laughs> That's oh, a two-handed job. Sorry, ladies. That's as good as it's going to get. Yes, as heavy as I can get it up. Yeah. If he whiplashes now, I'll get it right in the face. Right over the side. Will I? Yeah. <laughs> Will I? I'll be straight over the side. <laughs> there we go. One heave ho. A tope at night. So that's big bass, big conga, small to average tope, but gratefully accepted. Try and measure it. It's 34 inches long, it's a male fish. I'm just going to try and pop the tag in, just here. These are the tags, they've got the cylinder of information, right there, they've got the cylinder of information. I'm going to pop him in, there. That's him, right. and there you see him, and over the side he goes. Okie dokie, all right, we're just packing up now, um, for this particular mark. Basically, we're just going to get the first, first bit of light. It's gone a bit quiet on here, so... About three miles um, south, there's a bit of rough ground again, which is, is usually a pretty good mark. So, uh, last couple of hours of, um, well, dusk, I suppose you call it, and hopefully we'll maybe pull a ray up there, but we'll see. We've had dogfish, Wayne's had a small tote, and I've just had a nice. Smooth out there. So we're probably going to call it quits now, so we've had a good, uh, a good old try at it. But the wind's getting up a bit now. A lot of dogfish out here in the deeper water. But the fish are biting, Wayne's getting bites on his, I'm getting bites on mine, they're all over. We're going to give it maybe an uh, hour or so and then we'll pack up and go in. That's it, just bring him up and splash it. with a nice smooth hound on the squid we're really getting some bites out here now so it's going pretty well but I kind of wonder why we didn't get them last night when we thought we would do 
Now the wind's got up, so we don't have a great deal of time left. There's a weather front coming in, a system coming in, so we're trying to squeeze the last couple of hours out of it. But the fish are here and they're biting. And I'll get this one back.